Y'all see that? That was a cop. It didn't look like a cop. That cop car was unrecognizable. That balloon is for my mother. Since I've been treating her like a child, I just thought I'd continue that trend. <laughs> yeah, you gotta treat them like a child. Considering their, their willingness to do things that don't make any sense. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure that my parents still haven't taken that wizard juice. See, the thing is, I'm a very honest person, and they know that I would be very, very upset with them if they took that shit and they didn't tell me. But also, if they did, I don't know why they would tell me, because they know I'd be freaking out about it. It's like I told them to hold, up, to hold off, because... A lot of people are going to not have good reactions to it. And maybe if, if, if they can see that, that would change their mind on the whole thing. But I really don't know. There's no telling. Because I know a bunch of people that have taken it. And some of them have had side effects, but some of them haven't. But it's like, it's only a matter of time, man. Like, I can't believe that people are so gullible. But then again, it's like I look at what's in their hand all the time, and I look at the, the world that they think we're living in, this alternate universe that, that everybody else is living in, but Amy Gross, it seems. I feel like I'm, I'm the only person living in reality. It's crazy. Because, like, the phones really do it. Like, I think about... How much more aware people would be if they didn't have that phone constantly sucking them into whatever they tell them is happening? I mean, it's the TV. It's just this this portable TV that you can carry around. It, it tells you that you're important. Oh my God, that's a good that's a good way to put it. It's a TV you can carry around and tell you, tells you that you're important. It's, it's so true. That's what everybody wants, because everybody's like, what do I personality? <laughs> right? We know way too much about this illness. I wish that more people knew about it, because then they'd understand what's going on. Everybody's got a different angle, you know? A lot of people are looking at this from like a biblical angle. A lot of people are looking at this from like, you know, the the aliens and the Babylon and Hollywood, all that, you know, Jay Dyer, that kind of angle. And then you have like the Gematria angle with my my favorite conspiracy theorist, Zachary, Zachary K. Hubbard. And you know, you got a bunch of journalists that are doing like you know, actual journalists, not, not like Washington Post pieces of garbage that should be set on fire, but I'm talking about real journalists that you've never heard of, or may maybe you have heard of them, but you don't... You don't, uh, you can't convince people that... You can't convince people that, you know, read Washington Post to listen to them. Those kinds of journalists, because, oh, they're not... They're not prominent journalists. You like Luke Rudowski, those types. Um, see, I told myself I wasn't gonna name names, but like, if, if I'm doing it in a positive way, I feel like it's all right. What if you get them killed, baby? What if you get them killed? <laughs> I'm sure if they were gonna get killed, it wouldn't be on account of me. Pretty sure. You know, I, I know I'm public enemy number one over here, but with my old Tupac, compact discs and my flip phone and my scrunchie and my Budweiser t-shirt, but you know what? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just, it's crazy.
There, there's so many different angles though. There's so many different angles. It's really important to look at as many as possible because then you get a, a much deeper understanding of what's actually happening. That would be really cool if my debit card came in the mail, but it still has yet to come in the mail. So maybe that's God's telling that that's God's way of telling me not to fuck with it. Bourbon bacon cheeseburger, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should go back to work at Wendy's, man. Then I could eat that shit all the time. Literally, the whole reason why I went back to work at Steak and Shake, I was thinking about this the other day. Because I was watching one of my videos and I was like, that's not true. <laughs> you need to clarify this, Amy. You can't be lying to the vortex. I said the whole reason that I went back to work at Steak and Shake was because uh, they were open 24 hours. That's not the whole reason. That's one of the reasons. The main reason I went back to work at Steak and Shake, no joke, I just wanted to eat a motherfucking Cajun burger. That's the only reason. I was like, dude, if I work there again, I could eat that burger on a regular basis. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy though. I literally go back to a place of work all because of a cheeseburger. <laughs>